Welcome back to another episode of Cranked Automotive. We're uh, going to go on the fourth episode of the VL build. Um, so this episode we're going to go through and do a few cooling system things um, and service the engine. I uh, did a fuel filter in that uh, earlier this week. Uh, just get it running a bit better and, and some new spark plugs and stuff as well. Um, fixed it up and also found a vacuum leak and a few other little issues but uh, that's all fixed up so we're going to go over the cooling system and um, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do to try and make it a bit better because yeah, as a lot of people might already know the VL radio has really let the RB30s down um, and yeah, they just don't really cool it too well so I'll go through and show you guys that um, and yeah just do an engine, engine service so new oil and filter and um, not worrying about the time belt, to pull it off and someone had replaced it before so um, it looks fairly good so I'm pretty happy with it and if it does snap these aren't an interference engine so it's always a handy thing to know, if it does let go it's not going to bend valves or do any serious damage, fingers crossed. Um, so we'll get into it. So. If you look and take notice of the VL radiator, it has um, the top hose coming out of one tank. And usually on most other radios, you'll have another hose and the bottom hose uh, coming out of the other side of the other tank. But the VLs, they have the top and bottom hose on the same tank. So, uh, you know, there's a bit of an effort for it to try and circulate through the radiator. You know, sufficiently cool it properly, whereas I think it's just going to fall um, straight down. So we're going to upgrade to a V8 radiator because it's got the top outlet on the this side, the same side, and it's also got the bottom hose on this side. So what that means is doing a bit of wizardry with the hoses and running it along and making sure it doesn't rub and uh, yeah, let go prematurely. So, so first things first, I'm going to take the top and bottom hose off. Pull the radiator out, um, gonna replace the thermostat and pull off the heater hoses. Um, the rest of the hoses don't look too bad, so I'll replace it when I need them. I've got a few spares in, in the shed, so uh, pull the heater hoses off, flush out the heater core um, because, yeah, that'll tell a story, I reckon. So we'll keep a close eye on that and flush all the gunk out of it and, yeah, put it all back together with the new radiator. We'll uh, get into it. So uh, here's the top hose outlet, it's pretty bloody average really, and the bottom one's not too much better either. So we'll replace those, hoses will replace, these hoses are alright, they're a bit blocked up full of shit, they're a bit of a prick to um, get the old school clamps because they're like original clamps. Pain in the ass. So, now I got them. Uh, now we'll whack the hose into it and flush all the gunk out and go from there.
So, there's a bit of a mission to um, flush all the coolant system, uh, all these little hoses throughout the inlet manifold and hold the control and everything like that. Uh, it's for a reason, I guess, back in the day. Uh, and also the heater core, just pretty much had to take off the hoses that I needed to and clean out all the water ports and everything like that. So, looks like it's gonna work, I'm pretty happy. Now, this is the V8 radiator. As you can see, it's got the yeah, um, bottom hose outlet on the bottom of the other side tank. So these will fit. Oh, this one's out of a VR V8 Commodore. So, but yeah, they do fit in the VLs. Everything lines up, and the shroud will go on them. Um, and yeah, so it's got a bit of pipe there. Probably should have bead, bead rolled it, but I don't have a bead roller. We'll see how it goes. And this hose that I just got from the super cheap bin. I think it's CH1424. It's got for missing control or something. So, And I'm just using it and we're connecting it up to the bottom hose on the of the VL. So uh, not too much mucking around to play with there. So we'll start putting it all together. it should be and look at that the heat is even warm so it's all about blading them up properly you got to bleed them up properly and you shouldn't have an issue with too much so that's no, sweet as I'm pretty happy I'll just let it idle for a bit longer and make sure it's not going to do any funny business and um, drop the oil and new filter on it and yeah it's pretty much complete then not much left to go. So. Pretty happy. fuel filter out of the VL uh, it's not the correct one I had to put a tank in it when I first got it because it had been sitting for a very very long time and the fuel went to varnish so uh, so I've got a new one just a Repco replacement it's pretty cool but that is the shit that come out of it and if you blow on it way through it You should be able to um, blow through these easy. So it's very, very blocked. So um, yeah. So that's 
So that'll wrap up the VL build. Uh, I know I missed a few parts of uh, the refill and bleeding of the coolant system, but it's all pretty much common sense. Uh, plenty of information out there about it, so you just gotta make sure you do it properly so you don't have any air loss. Um, but for roadworthy, the last thing I need to do is get the windscreen replaced, so I've got a mate, he'll do that. Uh, should do a fairly nice job. And yeah, then we can chuck some rego on it and start going out and about and cruising and stuff. And hopefully when this coronavirus shit bloody passes through, so hopefully that's not too much far away. Uh, got the eyelids working. Pretty happy with them. They're a pretty cool sort of thing. I like them. Uh, so yeah, other than that, I'm pretty happy with how the whole car turned out. It's been pretty good. It's been a fun build. Uh, I hope you guys like watching it. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell if you want to receive notifications. Uh, and comment by all means. Leave a bit of feedback or if you have any questions or that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and keep an eye on the YouTube channel. I do have a few other Commodores and other things that we're playing around with in the future. So uh, should be some pretty interesting stuff on there. Uh, but other than that, We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.